Hello my friends and welcome back to Three-Legged Dog Yoga. If you are new here, I am Lindsay, this is Chewy, and I feel like that dictated the class pretty well. This is an evening class, so it's gonna be super chill, a little bit longer holds, uh, something that you can do towards the end of your day or even right before bed. Um, if you do use props in your class usually, I would grab those now, maybe a couple blocks and a blanket could be helpful. I won't be cueing them, however, if you do use them, then um, grab those now. Other than that, let's get started. Toy, we have to get off. So we're going to start today in child's pose. Either with the knees wide or with the knees together. I will leave that up to you. And wherever we want to sit, <laughs> wherever we want to start with our legs, we're gonna, going to walk our hands forward. As long as there's not a chihuahua in front of you that's impeding this, impeding this process. Awesome, so just head falls towards the mat. Relaxing the chest down. Just starting to find some breath here. So we're not controlling the breath, but we are going to move inwards and just pay attention to the breathing. Just feel the natural rise and fall of the belly. And start to quiet the mind, letting go of your day, letting go of anything you might still have ahead of you in the evening, and just taking some time to be present on the mat. Let's just start gently walking our hands to the right hand side, staying nice and low to the floor. Just bringing a bit of a stretch into that left side body here. slowly start moving back through center and we'll shift to the left side. So just crawling those hands over, no rush to get there. And once we get there, relaxing down, staying for some nice deep breaths. Trying to relax as much as you can into this posture. So seeing if you can find any spots of tension, and maybe just pressing into them or squeezing into them. And then as you exhale, release. And then gently crawling the hands back through center. Let's press up off of our hips and come into a tabletop position. So bring in the hips over the knees and the shoulders over the wrists. And we'll just start moving through some cat-cow here on your own time. So on the inhale, we drop the belly, arch the back, look up and exhale, we round it all out. And we'll do two more like this, nice and slowly. And then finding some stillness, let's bring the spine back to neutral. We'll press firmly into that left hand, take a big inhale with that right. And then as we exhale, we reach that right shoulder down to the mat, dropping the cheek, the right cheek on the floor, and relaxing down into this, thread the needle. 
checking in with the hips, making sure they're not falling over to the left side. They're staying nice and even over the knees. I'm just finding some stillness, maybe closing the eyes, maybe untucking the toes, just relaxing a bit more into this posture. for one more breath. And then on the inhale, let's gently press through that left hand. Come back all the way up through center. Find our neutral spine. And we'll switch sides. So just tucking the toes as we set up here. Pressing through that right hand. Take a big inhale with that left. And then exhale. Reach underneath that right arm. Finding the left shoulder and the left cheek to the mat, maybe closing the eyes. And then untucking the toes again, if you'd so please. Once again, checking in with the hips. And just staying here and relaxing. Making sure that as we relax, we're not letting those hips creep over to the right. And then once again, pressing through that right hand, we'll come back up through center. Let's keep the hands out nice and far ahead of us. Maybe walking them out a little bit further. Tuck the toes and then we'll just sink the chest down. Coming into our extended puppy pose. So here if you can't come all the way down this might be a nice spot to put a blanket underneath. Just underneath the chest. Keeping the breath nice and bright here, making sure we're not straining anything. There's no pain, no pinching. Intensity is fine as long as we're not reaching the threshold of pain. And if you are, then just come out of it. And if you're comfortable, then on the inhale, you can sink just up a little bit. And then exhale, sink a little bit deeper. pressing through those forearms. We'll just come all the way forward. Maybe shifting those knees back a little bit. And we'll come up to Sphinx. So our shoulders are underneath our wrists. Our shoulders are on top of our wrists. And our hands are pressed firmly down. Reaching that chest up and forward. They're finding a soft spot to gaze. They're closing the eyes. And then with control, let's press through those hands, send the hips back, coming back into our child's pose. So if we were doing it with wide leg before, let's do it with the narrow legs and vice versa. Just relaxing down here. And then we'll slowly come up to seated and we'll let's roll onto our hips <laughs> removing the chihuahua from your back if he's there and then we'll just come through seated so we'll just scooch our hips just a bit further on our mat and then we'll come to lie 
on our backs, feet stay planted on the floor, about hips distance apart. And let's inhale that right leg up and we'll cross it over our left, coming into our figure four. So if this is enough for you, just stay here. And if you don't feel anything, you can just come into it a little bit deeper. Just clasping those hands behind the left thigh. Be gently as we breathe, pressing that right elbow into that right thigh, just pressing that hip away from that leg away from the body a bit more. But just keeping this nice and gentle as we cool down in our day. And then we'll release that side. Drop that right foot down and we'll switch sides. So inhale that left foot up, cross it over. And again, if this is enough, stay here. If not, let's draw that right thigh up to the body and then clasp the hands behind the thigh. Again, if you'd like to add on and either press that left elbow to the left thigh, or you can just press the leg out by itself, whatever works. Just making sure this feels good for you. And then let's release that side. Dropping both of the feet down to the mat. We'll shift our hips just a little bit to the right hand side and then just drop the knees over to the left. If you have the space, you can reach the arms out beside you, palms facing down. If you don't have the space, you can always come into cactus arms. Whatever feels good. Palms up is also always an option. Honestly, whatever feels good for you at the end of your day here. And we'll just breathe. Then coming back through center, we'll switch sides. So shifting the hips first through center and then over a little bit to the right hand side. Draw those knees up and over. <sighs> coming into our twist on the opposite side. Trying to keep that left shoulder driving down towards the mat. Once again, seeing if you're holding tension anywhere in the body and just taking a moment to squeeze into it and then release. A lot of the time we'll have tension somewhere in the legs, maybe in the groin, try to keep our legs up. And just try to relax down. And let gravity do its work. And then slowly coming back through center. Let's reach the feet out ahead of you, all the way down to the mat. Let the feet roll open. And we'll draw the arms beside us, palms facing up this time. Coming into our final resting pose. And just see if there's anywhere that you can just relax and just sink into this pose a little bit more. And just stay and breathe.
Start wiggling through the fingers and toes. Eventually bringing the soles of the feet to the floor. And we'll gently roll onto our right sides. Using the right arm as a pillow for the head. And then we'll gently press up through seated. Coming all the way up. Keeping those eyes closed. You're gently focused ahead of you. Just taking a moment here, feeling into the body, feeling the calmness that we've brought into the body and the quiet and the stillness. Softly opening the eyes. That is all for tonight's practice. I hope you have a wonderful sleep. We'll see you next time.